Hi, I'm Evan Hernandez. We're going to run through a brief demo securing your data center with our new Carbon Black Workload Protection Solution and NSX Service Defy Firewall. We can mitigate the most risk by implementing the core foundational components of workload protection controls as pictured in the Gartner framework. VMware Carbon Black Workload Protection begins with our integration with vCenter, our primary management console for all workloads. The deployment of workload protection can be done on an individual basis or at scale with a single click of a button. We can now deliver our core workload protection agent list and built right into the platform, providing native next-gen antivirus, behavioral detection and response targeted specifically at workloads, vulnerability visibility, as well as hardening and configuration. Because of the data and context that is seen in the workload and hypervisor, we deliver risk prioritized vulnerability management near real time inside of vCenter, taking an inside out approach and with no scanning necessary. This gives us the ability to understand what assets across your environment suffer from the same risk, whether it's during a deployment stage of a workload or when enabled in a brownfield environment. As I'm switching roles and putting my security hat on, when I log into the Carbon Black Cloud console, I automatically get the same visibility that my infrastructure team has. I can see all of my workloads being provisioned in real time, giving me an accurate count of the number of workloads I need to protect. I can see what workloads have protection deployed and what workloads need protection enforced within the data center. When workload protection is enabled, the security team is able to see the same view of all of the vulnerabilities that an asset has and prioritize based on what the risk is associated with that specific vulnerability. This risk prioritized approach to vulnerability management gives security critical insight as to how to proceed in mitigating these risks and what risks should be mitigated first.